Hi, in this chapter we have been talking about how to solve eigenvector and eigenvalue problem and one of the most important applications of these concepts are Google's PageRank. So let's get started. What is Google PageRank? First of all, what's the original problem? That we want to rank websites in their search engine results. So for example, we are looking for Albert Camus. Okay, and we hit enter, and these are going to be the results as you can see. Wikipedia, biographicalnobelprize.org. Okay, and of course we can pose the question that what's going to determine this given order, and basically the page rank algorithm itself. So there are two popular algorithms to rank web pages by popularity. First of all, the hits the so-called hypertext-induced topic search, which is sometimes working fine but not always, and a bit better algorithm, I guess, is the PageRank algorithm, which is the main algorithm behind Google search. Okay, so the World Wide Web hyperlink structure forms a huge directed graph where the nodes represent web pages and directed edges represent hyperlinks. So basically we are able to represent or model with the help of a directed graph. The whole World Wide Web can be transformed into a directed graph. As you can see we have page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4 and there are several connections between these pages. Page 2 is pointing to page 1 and page 1 is pointing to page 2. Page 4 is pointing to page 2. Okay, and we may pose the question that how do we define an important website, an important page? So what's the basic concept behind Google's PageRank? PageRank works by counting the number and the quality of links to a page to determine the rough estimate of how important the website is. Okay, so we can have a guess that if we have a website that lots of lots of other websites are pointing to it, it may be an important website. The underlying assumption is that more important websites are likely to receive more links from other websites. So we can say that this website is important if other important websites are pointing to that given website. Okay, this is the main concept behind Google's PageRank algorithm. It's very important that there are three different types of links. We have the inbound link. These are links into the given site from outside, so from other pages. So for example, if we have a given page, then there are several incoming edges, incoming connections, and these are called inbound links. What about outbound links? These are links from the given page to pages in the same site or other sites. So these links are pointing from that given page to another page. Okay. And we have dangling links. These are links that point to any page with no outgoing links at all. So for example, as far as page 2 is concerned, it has an outgoing link pointing to page 1 and it has several incoming or inbound links. Page 1 is pointing to page 2, page 4 is pointing to page 2, page 3 is pointing to page 2. Okay. So basically that's the main concept behind Google that we are able to construct a directed graph out of the World Wide Web because of the hyperlinks, okay, where the nodes are the web pages and the connections are the edges basically. And we can say that a given web page is important if other important websites are pointing to it. So there are several inbound links to a given page. This is how we determine whether a given page is important or not. And the more important a given page, the higher the page rank, which means that in the Google search, it's going to be within the first results. Okay. 
So that's why if we search for Albert Camus, the famous philosopher writer, we can come to the conclusion that these sites at the beginning has higher page rank. That's why they are going to be the first results in the results set. For example, Wikipedia is a quite important page because lots of lots of websites are pointing to Wikipedia. So that's why it has a bigger page rank than the other sites and that's why it's going to be the first in the search results set. Okay, so that's all about page rank basics. Thanks for watching.